Condensing logarithmic expressions. How are we going to do it? Find out this video. Last time we talked about expanding the logarithmic expressions. This time we're going to talk about how we're going to condense them as a single logarithmic expressions. So still, we're going to make use of our uh, properties and laws. So, sa law of logarithm natin, we have the product rule, the quotient rule, and as well as the power rule. So, let's have some examples. Number one, the logarithm of 20 to the base x plus the logarithm of 2 to the base x. So, this is the expanded form. So, we're going to condense them para maging single logarithmic expression na lang. So, mapapansin natin na yung operation sa gitna ng dalawang logarithmic expression is plus or addition. So, since addition, it simply means that we're going to make use of the product rule. So, kapaliktaran lang ng ginawa natin last time. So, para mapag-isa natin sila, we're going to write it as the logarithm we are going to multiply 20 and 2. You can have 40, pero para ma-represent lang natin ng maayos, we're going to have it as 20 times 2. Okay? Then to the base x. So you can have this one or place this one inside the parenthesis. Then this would be your final answer. Okay? You can also get the product, pero para lang ma-express natin sa condensed form, ni, sa condensed form niya, uh, I, I opted na ganito lang yung magiging final answer natin. Okay, how about number 2? We have the logarithm of 3 minus the logarithm of 8. So as we all know, pag subtraction yung operation, then we're going to divide or apply the quotient rule. So, yung numerator natin would be 3, then yung denominator naman natin would be 8. So our final answer will become the logarithm of 3 over divided by 8. Okay? So again, this is common logarithm. So, ibig sabihin, yung base natin will be equal to 10. Next, 4 times the logarithm of x plus 2 times the logarithm of y. So, iisa-isa yung muna natin. So, this can be written as the logarithm of x raised to 4. So, based sa power rule natin. So, yung numerical coefficient, ilalagay natin ngayon sa exponent. Then, plus the logarithm of y squared. Okay? So, yung numerical coefficient na ito, nilagay natin sa exponent. But then again, this is not yet the final answer. So, kailangan pa natin, or pwede pa natin silang ma-combine or ma-condense. Kasi nga, yung goal, uh, yung goal natin is to make them as a single logarithmic expression. So, how are we going to combine this one? The operation is addition. Therefore, we're going to make use of the product rule. So we're going to multiply the two uh, logarith uh, the two logarithms. So we have the logarithm of x raised to 4 times the logarithm of y squared. And this would be your final answer. Okay, number 4. We have 4 times the logarithm of 3 minus 4 times the logarithm of 8. So same lang ng concept sa number 3. We're going to have the logarithm of 3 raised to 4 minus the logarithm of 8 raised to 4. Okay, again, yung mga numerical coefficients, ginawa na natin or binalik na natin siya sila as, or binalik na natin sila as exponents. Okay, we're not done yet. So since subtraction yung operation natin, we can perform the quotient rule. So it will become the logarithm of 3 raised to 4 over 8 raised to 4. So you can still simplify this one but I opted na ito na yung magiging final answer natin para pwede natin siyang mabalik or mabalik dun sa original na event. Okay, how about number 6? Now, this is kind of tricky. Okay? We cannot consider na quotient rule siya. Bakit? Kasi walang logarithm dito sa denominator. But as we all know, since logarithm of 6 is over 3, it can be written as 1 third times the logarithm of 6. So 1 third is just the same with this 1. Okay? Nilagay lang natin siya sa denominator. So 
since 1/3 is written before the logarithm or as a numerical coefficient, then this would be our exponent. So the final answer would be the logarithm of 6 raised to 1 third, or you can have that one as logarithm of the cube root of 6. Let's continue now with more examples. We have number 6, the logarithm of 2 plus the logarithm of 11 plus the logarithm of 7. So, since, pra, uh, since addition yung operation nila, then we're going to make use of the product rule. So, it will become the logarithm of, we simply write the factors. We have 2 times 11 times 7, the base 10. Okay? Or you can also simplify that further, that would become the logarithm of 2 times 11, that is equal to 22. 22 times 7, that would be equal to 150. Four. Okay, number 7, we have the logarithm of 7 minus 2 times the logarithm of 12. So, it will be written as the logarithm of 7. Kasi ito yung magiging numerator natin. Then, sa baba naman, we have this expression. So, again, isang logarithm lang yung isusulat natin. So, sa baba, or denominator, we will have 12 squared. Okay? Or you can... Simplify that further, you can have logarithm of 7 over 144. So how about number 8? We have 6 times the logarithm of u to the base 3 plus 6 times the logarithm of v to the base 3. So product, and at the same time, we're going to make use of the power rule. So, lalagay muna natin the logarithm of u raised to 6 to the base 3 plus the logarithm of v raised to 6 to the base 3. Okay, and after that one, we can simplify the logarithm of u raised to 6 times v raised to 6 to the base 3. Okay, so this would be our final answer. Okay, how about number 9? So number 9, medyo mahaba siya. So, let's have this one. 2 times the quantity of the logarithm 2x minus the logarithm of y minus the quantity of the logarithm of 3 plus 2 times the logarithm of 5. Okay. So, unay man natin yung nasa unang parenthesis. So, it will be written as uh, the logarithm of 2x over y raised to 2. Okay? So again, yung 2 na numerical coefficient magiging exponent. And since nasa loob ng parenthesis C, logarithm 2x and logarithm of y, so ilalagay natin sila sa loob ng parenthesis. Ibig sabihin nito, both of the numerator and denominator, yung exponent nila would be 2 or they will be raised to 2. So since minus, we're going to perform the quotient rule. So it will become the logarithm of 2x over y. Okay, next, divided by. So, bakit may division dito? Kasi the next operation is still subtraction. So, how about this one? How are we going to represent this one? So, it will be represented as 3 times 5 squared. Sinulat na lang natin once yung nagamitin. Okay? So, this would be our denominator. So, since uh, addition, then we're going to multiply 3 and 5. And since my numerical coefficient before the logarithm of 5, then 2 becomes the exponent of 5. Kaya naging 5 squared. Okay, let's simplify. So we have the logarithm of 4x squared. Okay? So you have 2 squared, that is 4. x squared, that is 2. Then, sa denominator naman niya, we have y squared as well. And over... This one, 5 squared, that is 25, times 3, you will have 75. Okay, simplify natin further, we have the logarithm of 4x squared y squared. Now, we can write this one as a reciprocal. So, 75 over 1 can be written as 1 over 75. Then, proceed tayo sa multiplication. So, our final answer would be the logarithm of 4x squared over 75y squared.
Now, how about the last number? The logarithm of x times the logarithm of 2. So, how are we going to uh, condense this logarithmic expression? So, kung mapapansin natin, yung operation nila would be multiplication. But then again, wala tayong rule na kung saan multiply two logarithmic expressions, then we can condense it. So, it would be impossible na makondense yung dalawa. Hindi applicable dito yung product rule kasi yung product rule dapat addition yung operation natin, hindi multiplication. So, kung addition, then we can write that one or express that one as a product of the two factors. But then again, dito sa original na given natin, product na yung nakalagay na operation. So, this one cannot be simplified. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.